everybody. Welcome back to Boogie Woogie Banjo. Today we're going to be looking at yet another Professor Longhair tune. This time it's Big Chief. This was written by Earl King, but popularized by Professor, and it's long since been a staple of New Orleans piano music. We're going to look at how to adapt that to the five-string banjo. We'll jump right in. I'll talk a little bit about the form. It's just a, another basic 12-bar blues, this time in E-flat. So we're going to be working out of our root position, E-flat up on the 13th fret. We'll get our 4 chord, the A flat, just moving that same position down, and our B flat, two frets up from there. Distinctive thing about this tune, though, that repeats a lot throughout it, is going to be that 5 chord, we're going to do it as an augmented fifth. So, 5 chord is B flat, the fifth degree of that is an F, which we're getting the, out of the sixth fret on our second string. We're going to raise that one fret, or one half step, F to F sharp. So we get that voicing. We're going to do a four note arpeggio across that. And I'm playing that on the fourth string, third string, second string, fifth string. So it's a forward roll, and then you drop your thumb to the fifth string. And I'm grabbing that with the middle finger of my left hand. It's sort of making just that little jump from the eighth fret of the fourth string to the eighth fret of the fifth string. back down with a backwards roll. So practice that a little bit just to get that comfortable and feeling smooth. Then in the context of the tune itself, we're going to do a little forward roll triplet. So forward roll, play two eighth notes on that fifth string, and then do a backwards roll starting on the fifth string. So we've got... right there, that's just the second and fourth strings played together. The second string is just, just going to be playing an E flat, all those notes, that's the fourth fret on the second string. And on the fourth string we're going A flat, G flat, G. Really common blues right there. So we put those two together, we've got... Actually, probably the toughest part of the tune is going from there all the way up to the root position on the 13th fret where we started out. So you just got to make that big jump. But once you get up there, grab that chord shape, and then we're going to play, use our middle finger on the first string, 13th fret. Now we're going to do a backwards roll, middle index thumb, and on that middle finger, we're going to pull off from the 13th fret to the 11th fret. So we've got middle middle index thumb with the pull up. The second time through, it's going to be the same thing except on that first middle finger note, we're also going to add our thumb on the third string playing the 13th fret, but then do that same pull up. And then a little double stop bluesy lick on the second and third string. Going from the minor third to major third. So that whole thing we've got one more time. We're going to go back to our augmented fifth lick. Back up to the E and flat. Now that was the same augmented fifth lick, just with a little variation in it. Same forward roll. But now I'm going to grab with my pinky the 10th fret on the 1st string, and then do this little bluesy double stop lick. Now we're going to do that lick we did over E flat, this time we'll do it on the A flat, the 4th chord. Same exact fingering. Back to our augmented lick. Just a little octave lift in chromatic 
The octaves are pretty easy to play because the first string and fourth strings are the same note, just one octave apart. So we just need to grab those, starting on the eighth fret, going down, and then just up chromatic until we get back up to the root. The E flat, and finish it off with the same lick. So I'll play the whole thing through once, a little slower, and then a little more up the tempo so you can hear how it all fits together. Thank <laughs> you. 